Look, the spiritual is what gives birth to the political. See, Theodore Herzl and the Zionist movement looked at scripture as a base for Zionist philosophy to take that land from the Palestinian. But they got it from the book. Mistaken understanding of the book. And you're going to pay for your error. The Bible is so tricked up that it takes God to interpret it. Now who does this land belong to by the order of God? Let's go to Isaac. Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his plea and Rebekah conceived. She was having twins. But the children struggled together within her. Have you ever heard of anything like that in your life? you got twins and they inside struggling with each other. Now, does that make sense? And it must have a deeper significance. So let's get to the theology of it. And look what the Lord said. He said, two nations are in your womb. From one father. Yes, sir. Two nations. Yes, sir. Then he said, two peoples shall be separated from your body. And one people will be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. The Bible says that the older will serve the younger. He is talking about the beginning of the white race coming out of us. And they are the younger. We are the elder. But who's serving who? And they are naturally weaker. But the stronger is being subjected to the weaker. Let's go on. So Jacob was left alone, the Bible says, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. And when the man saw he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. And the man said, let me go for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And the man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but your name shall be called Israel because you have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. Now talk to me. You know anybody that struggles with God and win? It must mean something here. This means... Yaku working with the life germ of the black man to bring out of that a new people. And it was a struggle. And he said, I have wrestled. My life has been preserved. Some scriptures say he wrestled with the angel of the Lord. And he's called now the man who struggled with God. His hip was thrown out of socket. Yes, wrestling with the angel means he wrestled with the germ of the black man until a new man came out and it was daybreak, meaning daybreak, it was the night of struggle. But when the darkness of the womb is exposed, then the baby comes forward into the light. A new people will be born on our planet to rule. And his name would be called Israel. Israel don't represent Jews. Israel represents the whole white race. You are the God, the original man, that he was struggling with. And ever since he's been on the planet, he's been struggling with God. All right, I'm going to move on. But now God tells Abram, you know, how the people, his children, were going to sojourn in this land. And I will be with thee and I will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries. And I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. See the, the people that are in Israel today feel that that land, all of it is theirs because of this. That's why we want to sit down with their scholars because it ain't them. Esau and Jacob were the sons of Isaac. And when it was time for Isaac to die, he wanted to call his children to give a blessing. Rebekah heard what he said. She took Jacob and dressed him up with hair, put the scent, made him even smell like his brother, to deceive an old man whose eyes were dim. So the old man was wise enough, he said, well, wait a minute, come, come closer. 
and he was sniffing him. So she had put a scent on him that made him smell like his brother. Then Isaac pronounced the blessing on Jacob. After a while, Esau came to get his blessing. He said, well, damn, I already gave it to your brother. I can't take it back, but I'm going to give you a blessing. But Jacob, he's going to rule, going to expand. He's going to be great, but you coming too. Now, here's this Jacob stole the birthright of his brother. And here's a people that stole your birthright and are running around like they are the chosen of God. And the choice of God is sitting under their foot.